Hey guys, my name is El Jefe and I'm a Twitch streamer who mostly plays Project 1999 EverQuest. You can find me right over here. And today I have a quick tip video for new players on Project 1999. An easy way to raise your sense heading skill to help you get around Norath better. Now a little background for new players, Sense Heading is a skill that all characters in EverQuest receive that allows you to tell which direction your character is currently facing. And since there is no map function in Project 1999, you can imagine that this skill ends up being very useful. So. Now that we know what it does, how do you train sense heading? Well, conventional wisdom would say that you put it in your hotbar and you tap the corresponding button as much as possible. But in my opinion, that can get a little tiresome and sometimes I forget to do it uh, at all. Fortunately, there's a simple solution that uses EverQuest's keybinding system to make training sense heading and a variety of other skills a lot easier. So, the first step is you're going to access the socials page on your action bar. Over here, I have mine on the right hand side, but yours might be in a different location. Now, it'll be on page number one. You're going to scroll to page two which will be all empty buttons and right click on one of the buttons. And I'm going to name this one skills. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I will just be adding sense heading to this skills button but this method would be appropriate for leveling up foraging as well. I'll also be adding an additional note for tracking it near the end of the video. Now that I have this skills button created, I'm going to click and hold, create a new hot button. I'm going to place it in my hot bar. Now I place it at 10 because that's the button on my keyboard I'm least likely to press. Next, hit Alt-O to bring up your options menu. And click on the keys tab at the top of that menu. We're gonna click on this uh, category drop-down menu and bring up Hotbar 1. Now, the skills button I created is on hot button 10. It's currently bound to the zero key. We're gonna come to the alternate binding and add it to a directional button. I'm gonna choose A for left in this case. Now, when you do this, you'll notice that this key binding is red. That means the A key is currently bound to two functions. For the purposes of this video, that is normal. And that's it. So what did we just do? Well, we bound our 10 key to left turns. And through the course of a uh, play session, you make quite a lot of right and left turns. This means, without even trying, I'll be leveling up Sense Heading and will master it in no time. So now let's get down to tracking. How would you use this method to level up your tracking? Well, I don't think it's appropriate to bind it to a directional button like you would with sense heading or foraging. But a handy tip I was told recently 
is to bind it to your inventory button. Let's go ahead and make a skills button for my ranger here. I'm going to call it skills. Let's look at my abilities page. Okay, so I want do ability one for sense heading. I want do ability four for forage. And then I want do ability three for tracking. Now I'm going to put this button in my 10th slot on my hotbar. We're going to open up my options menu. Click on the keys tab at the uh, top of this menu. And let's go ahead and go to hotbar one. Instead of having it bound to A, we're gonna change this to I. All right, now that we have all three of the skills we want to level bound to our inventory button, you guys can see if I hit I. Yeah, not only does it bring up my inventory when I need it, I also get the tracking window to pop up as well. And this will just happen automatically which will make leveling up tracking much, much easier. And that'll do it. Now you guys are all set up and ready to level up sense heading, forage, and tracking without even trying. If you guys found this tip useful, please like and subscribe for more videos. And come say hi to me. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at twitch.tv slash El Jefe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.